Let's welcome Florida Congressman Michael Waltz back to the show. It's great to have you on. Can you tell us what legislation is in the works? Yeah, well, I'm the, the ranking Republican on the Research and Technology Commission uh, and uh, the Research and Technology Committee, excuse me, and we pushed and are pushing for the Office of Science and Technology in the White House uh, to come and explain to us why gain of function research, which, you know, as you know, which is basically studying a virus but putting it on steroids to see how it spreads. Why was that turned back on in the very early days of the Trump administration in 2017 after it had been paused because it was so controversial uh, by the Obama administration? And what was Dr. Fauci's role in having that turned back on? Uh, look, I think we've seen now that all of the interests uh, were aligned here. The, the proponents in the bureaucracy here in the United States and the scientific community of gain-of-function research they had no interest in the lab leak theory because it would have kind of been like Chernobyl was for nuclear scientists had that come to the fore. The mainstream media had no interest in that in that theory uh, because they just wanted to paint the opposite narrative of anything President Trump said, right? Uh, and then, of course, the Chinese Communist Party had no interest in that getting out. So they had a massive global propaganda campaign. And we are going to get to the bottom of unpacking all of that. The American people and okay. the world need to understand how this happened. And here's the big thing. We can't prevent the next one from happening until we understand right. how this one happened. The last three have come from China. Never again. We have to get uh, yeah. to the bottom of what happened and how we're going to stop it. OK, let, let's get to this. All right. OK, we hear you. The thing is, is that they were doing gain of function funding, gain of function research when we didn't have the America's defenses ready for a pandemic. We've got now we've got the Democrats pushing on vote reform. Right. We've got the right. Democrats pushing on infrastructure. The Republicans are taking a different tack. They're saying basically you guys are saying, hey, we can't go through this again. It demolished small businesses. It hurt the economy and killed 600,000 people. Now, the White House National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, he says the Biden administration is pursuing ways to put international pressure on China. What do you say to that? I think it's a lot of happy talk, frankly. Uh, you know, we're hearing that talk. We need to see them walk the walk. What are they actually doing? Are they sanctioning Chinese officials uh, that were involved with the cover-up? Uh, are they cutting off any future funding uh, to Wuhan? That's another question we have of the White House. What is the policy going forward when, as it pertains to gain of function? Uh, what are uh, the yeah. other labs around the world? We know of two in the United States, and I'm comfortable with their level of security. But the State Department knew and wrote cables to the effect that the security was very lax. Uh, in Wuhan. So what is the White House's position going forward in terms of that funding? Yeah, uh, why right? are we I mean, funding I can go down why the are list we even of what allowing, are they actually doing why are we, rather than talking? Right. Why are we allowing dangerous gain-of-function research in a Chinese lab that's known for, for making errors and mistakes? That's really, you know, it's an unsafe lab. What were we doing there to begin with? Let's watch Steve Scalise on this. Watch this. Pelosi won't do it. When we're in the majority, we will do it, and we will hold China accountable. They are covering for China right now. It's a Soviet-style cover-up. We're going to keep calling them out on it. So that, those are that's tough words. He's basically saying that Pelosi is aiding China's cover-up. Your, your reaction to that? Well, like I said, everyone's interests align. The Democrats want to talk about other things. Uh, they don't want it to come to light that we knew uh, and many of the investigators uh, didn't come, uh, you know, couldn't come forward uh, because when you have uh, Dr. Fauci and others saying it was natural causes, when you have Facebook, uh, you know, calling it a conspiracy theory and banning it uh, from from their platform of anybody asking these kind of questions, uh, you know, everyone's aligned for this to just go away. We're not going to let it go away. Steve Scalise is absolutely right that we have to get to the bottom of it. And it's not about looking backwards. Okay, it's about we gotta how go. do we prevent it from going forward. And then Got finally, it. what was the Chinese military's role uh, in all of this? Because we know in that they are this, studying right. biowarfare. we got to go. we got to wrap it. Uh, we're studying right. uh, biowarfare. And again, we have to be able to stop it. Okay, Congressman Michael Waltz, thanks for joining us.